In this video, I'm giving you my top tips for how to shoot in front of a green screen. And then I'm also going to show you how you can edit that inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So my first tip with your green screen is to make sure there are no creases, marks or blemishes on the green screen. One of the most common problems with green screens is they have heavy creases down the middle of them. And the problem is when you go to key out the green later on, unfortunately, the creases are going to cast shadows. And this means the tone, the color is going to change. That's just going to cause problems with removing the green later on. So make sure if you have a cloth green screen, make sure you iron or steam this beforehand or alternatively use a paper or a pop up green screen, which is also going to help minimize the amount of creases that you have. Tip number two, do not wear green on a green screen. Believe me, I've been on set before. People have wore green on a green screen and I've always had to tell them that they had to find something else to wear because the problem is when you pull the green from the green screen, you're also going to pull the green from your clothing and you'll just end up a floating head. So don't wear the color that you're keying out. So if you're doing blue screen, don't wear blue. If you're doing green screen, do not wear green. The next tip is lighting. Make sure you light your green screen evenly. The problem is if you light one side of the green screen and you don't like the other side of the green screen or if there's a hot patch on one and the rest of it's in the shadow, unfortunately, because this is not evenly lit, you're not going to pull a clean key from the green screen. So what I would recommend doing is moving your subject away from the green screen a little bit, placing a soft light either side of the green screen and that is going to throw some soft light onto the green screen and it's not going to spill onto your actor. Keeping on with the theme of lighting, it's also really important that you put a backlight on your talent. This is a backlight right behind me. It's this thing catching the top of my hair. If I turn this off, unfortunately, I've now blended in with the background a little bit. And even though you can kind of get away with it in video, unfortunately, if you don't have a backlight on with green screen, then your subject isn't going to pop from the green and they can sort of blur into the background. And that might make your time keying and removing the green a little bit more difficult. So make sure you put a backlight onto your subject. Now, my next tip is to increase your shutter speed. Typically, if you're shooting at 25 frames per second, your shutter should be at double your frame rate. So 25 makes a one over 50 shutter speed. The problem is though, that causes a little bit too motion blur. If you move your hand really quick in front of a green screen, you'll notice if you freeze frame, you've got loads of motion blur between the fingers. And the problem is you can't key out that motion blur. This means you're going to need a higher shutter speed in order to get a limited amount of motion blur. So I would recommend pulling your shutter speed up to around one over 100. So with your camera set to one over 100, you've got all of your lighting correctly positioned. Your green screen is perfect. Your talent is good to go. They're wearing the right colors. What do you do? Well, now you just go ahead and shoot the action. Of course, it's always really important though when you're doing green screen to think about the background before you do the scene. So let's say you've got this footage of the desert and you want to place your subject on the green screen onto this desert footage. If you can see shadows in the background going from screen right to screen left, then make sure the shadows on your subject are also traveling from right to left. The problem is if you've got shadows coming this way on your subject and that way on the background, it's going to look really off. So make sure that your shadows and make sure that your lighting matches the background. And the only way that you're going to be able to do that is to know what you're going to put back on the green screen before you shoot the scene. So planning is a really important part of shooting green screen footage. But once you've captured all of your footage, you can now drop this into Adobe After Effects and we can go through the process of keying out the green. So first of all, you want to go into effects and presets and search for key light. Drop key light onto your subject. And then you want to use the eyedropper tool to select a green that is close to your subject. Now, as you'll see, the green has been completely removed, but everything else is still visible. So if you were shooting wider than the green screen, then you just want to go into the pen tool and just create a mask around the inside of that green screen. And that should get rid of all that background nonsense. Now from here, you want to change your view from final result to status. And then you just want to adjust the screen gain and screen balance to find a point where the green screen is perfect. You want to make sure that the background is completely black and the subject is completely white. Then once you've reached that, you want to turn your view back from status to final result. And now we can move on to the next stage. 
Now the problem is when we look at this, we can see this muddy noisy effect happening on our subject. And this is because part of our subject is being eaten into by the key light effect. So in order to get rid of that, we are going to duplicate this layer. We'll delete key light from the bottom layer and then we'll set the track mat to alpha and that should create a mat around that subject, therefore filling in all of that ugliness. Now just select both of those layers, right click, pre-compose, and you've just pre-comped those two layers into one, making your edit much more manageable. Now all you have to do from here is just throw your subject onto your background, and there you go, you successfully completed the keying process inside of Adobe After Effects. And there you go. Green screen is always often thought to be a really difficult process, but providing that you follow all of the tips listed in this video, green screen is actually pretty easy to do. And there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.